What's up beauties? Have you ever wondered if primer is really necessary? Because I have wondered this from pretty much the dawn of doing makeup. I don't know if I've ever noticed a primer actually do something for the makeup job or if it's just something we think we need. So today in this video, I'm going to answer the question that I've been asking myself for years. Is primer a scam? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half my face with primer and I'm going to leave the other half just moisturized and I'm going to do a wear test. So I'm going to apply my makeup as usual with all the steps and setting spray, everything to make it last and then I'm going to go about my normal day. I'm even going to go to the gym and sweat and at the end of the day I'll show you guys my face and we'll see if there truly is a difference between having no primer and having primer. So today I'm using a favorite of the makeup community, which is the e.l.f. Primer Putty. This is a very affordable one, but it's been compared to high-end ones like Tatcha. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit, since we're only doing half my face. Okay, so in this experiment, I intend to answer two questions. Number one. Does primer make your makeup look better? And then number two, does primer make your makeup last longer? I am partly convinced it does make your makeup look better, at least in the beginning stages, but what I'm not so convinced about is whether it keeps it looking better and whether it looks better in the end or lasts longer in the end. So that is what we're gonna find out today and I will check back in with you guys as we go. Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup. I just want to give you guys a closer look to see if you guys think that there's any difference with the way it looks. What do you guys think? Do you see a difference? I see a small difference. You can see here that you can see the smile line. It's a little more pronounced on this side than this side. And I think you can also see my pores right here a little bit more than you can here. But the differences are really minor. And zoomed out, I think there's virtually no difference. Alright, I'll check in with you guys for the day. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting a service done at one of my favorite spas and I'm asking the girls, which side has primer? This side? Is that the left or is that the right? <laughs> it's her left. Okay. This side? So then I would say the right. So, Kaylee, you think this side? Mm-hmm. And then you think this side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's this side. Is it? Yeah. Turn into this light. I'm finished doing my running around. I just got home. The foundation and everything has been on for about three and a half hours now. still stay and put on both sides but actually this is the primer side and you can see that it's starting to crack here it was already cracked here I'm just saying it's catching up we're six hours in and I am saying where right here I don't see as bad over here And this is the non-primer side. Mm. Okay, you guys, it's 9 p.m. So I've officially worn this face of full makeup with primer and no primer all day. So it's time for my final thoughts and results. Um, I also ended up asking my husband if he could tell which side was primed and which one wasn't, and he could tell. He His specific comments were that he said he thought that this side was primer, which he was correct, and he said that he thought that this side, his words, looked like the makeup was sitting on top of the skin, so it didn't look like you could see my pores as much, whereas this side he could really see my pores because he thought it was sinking into the skin. I also sent a text message with a picture of me just now, so at the end of the day face, to my mom and three friends, and I asked them, which side of the face did I use primer? My mom got it wrong, 
my good friend got it wrong, my best friend who knows absolutely zip about makeup got it right. So final check-ins, which side looks better? The prime side looks better, marginally, but it does, it looks better. Did it keep my makeup on longer? Maybe a little bit. I see some areas on my nose where it's slipping off on the non-prime side and here where I have some blemishes as well. But then on this side, I see some areas around the bottom of my nose and also areas around here where it's slipping off as well. Um, so honestly, in conclusion, I think that primer is not a scam is the short answer, but is it a necessary step? Maybe not. Um, I don't think that it's completely necessary to wear a primer. I think that, yeah, it does make your makeup look minimally better. Like one side to the other, the side that was primed looks a little bit better at the end of the day. It looked a little bit better when it was first done, but is it like a massive difference one side to the other or did this side completely melt off where this side stayed pristine? No. So I think that primer is what we'd call like a nice to have, but not a need to have. I don't think it's a scam, but I really don't think it's one of those things that is a make or break. Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.